trying to basically strengthen the floor and get a new uh, chipboard in. So this crosser here, this crosser here was totally rotten. So I've had to, I don't know if you can see in there, there's actually a joist hanger in there. So from this joist, and it was, and I basically just had to box in and the edge where the chipboard will be going back down and um, link into this uh, tongue and groove yeah, so it looks something like that there's a tongue and groove there so it's obviously linked together it's all boxed in right around the edge we've got the crosser here um, it's marked 600 on centre so the next board will go in here as well and be supported with the crosser right, guys that's a new section of flooring in um, just got it loose in at the moment. And the important thing here was to get that joint right across the, you know, the cross out with the joint hangers on. I mean, the edges I'm not really worried about. That's just to support the, the floor. This is the main support here. Um, so just need to get these boards back a bit. We'll be square this edge up. Um, we give it a fill with a little bit of silicon, um, and then get the, all this screwed down. And the edges, it should be it hopefully. Yeah, so this is the overview. It's all braced up as shown before. Uh, so now I think I'm just waiting on the client confirming, but I've suggested wet wall panels. Guys, uh, I've got the go ahead with the um, the wet wall panels for the bathroom. Um, the flooring's done as you've obviously seen uh, the, the earlier in the video. Uh, I've taken all the tiles off. Um, purely, I mean normally or sometimes you would put the, the panels right against straight onto the tiles but in this instance the, the tiles were just so loose on the wall honestly you could pop them off with your finger obviously steam and water ingress in the back just just uh, weakened them totally so I've got all them off and I'm just going to get the shower off now get all these tiles stripped just in preparation for the wet wall panel I'm doing the vanity unit, um, it's not wrong with the order I would do it, but because of the weight on the panels and things, um, I'm just doing this at the moment. But no, it's been a bit of a pest this. Um, it's a vanity unit with a flat panel, there's no cavity in the back, um, so trying to get the pipes you know, in the back of there is just impossible, unless you're chasing in the wall, which I'm not going to do. Also to get the waste in is a bit of a pain, if you remember this is all boxed in before, uh, all this here. So in order to get the waste in, and have the correct fall all the way down there. To put it ties in the way down there. Um, I'm having to take it through the base of the unit here. So it's all I'm doing. I've cut a hole in the side there. There's a, the other ones there. Now yeah, I've made up the piece. Here's the piece here which I'll join all together. Um, uh, Rerouted the pipes, took them up through the base. Um, Put a couple of isolation valves on and just a, bit, a couple of bits of pipe just in readiness for the tap. And um, this vanity unit's been no, it's not fixed at all, it's all loose at the moment. I had to take the blooming thing half apart uh, to get all this to fit. Um, so I've just left it loose. Uh, the reason being, I'm going to be flooring, I want to lift the, the vanity unit up and floor underneath, or take the whole thing out actually and floor it and then put the vanity unit back in. This gives it a neater finish. Um, obviously just box this little bit in here. That's what's a floor and hand will box this section in here as well. And the end of the bath should come up to about here, so we'll have a bath panel here so we won't see any of these this pipes. Um, <coughs> yeah, so I've just run the pipes underneath the, the vanity unit. Put the waste through there, that's all I could do, there's nothing else I could do. Yeah, just put it through there. This will all be boxed in neatly, caulked around the edges so you won't see any of that. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. All the pipes are pretty much in place. Um, just makes it easier when I'm not going to install the thing. Uh, I think the tap's due for delivery tonight, so I'll possibly get that fitted tomorrow. Um, the waste we fitted already, I did a previous video on that. Now we've done that. Good job for using the old uh, Nipex plier wrenches. These are brilliant. When you get access and you can get in about, they're so much better than just little spanners. Yeah, loving them. You guys, that's me finishing here for the day. Just a quick
TD up. So pretty much got the vanity unit plumbed in. A few obviously loose connections still. Um, but it's in the area I want it, all the pipes in the area I want it. And it's just pretty much ready to fit properly. As I said, I'll leave it loose till I get the flooring done. Uh, toilet's gonna have to come out to get the flooring done. We'll possibly get the bath in tomorrow. Uh, preparation for the wet wall. Uh, get the rest of these tiles off. This is where I am with the bathroom now. Um, you should have seen previously that the floor, floor was fixed. So that's all done. All I'm doing now is just test fitting the bath. I've obviously fitted the, the legs and the brackets at the bottom. Just test fitting it just to make sure it's going to fit <laughs> roughly where it needs to be. And just check the plumbing, make sure there's not going to be any major issues. Um, I've been given the go ahead to do wet wall paneling now. So uh, that'll all be going up in these walls. I had to take all the tiles off because they were, they were so loose and hardly stuck to the wall at all. So I just popped them off the wall um, as opposed to putting the wet wall panels straight on the, the tiles. The uh, shower's been removed and decommissioned. Um, I just need to get these tiles off now uh, to get the wet wall panels on. Yeah, they're actually in a five day lead time. I only ordered them yesterday, so I've got, <laughs> it's going to be a while before I can do any more in here. Um, so I did get the vanity unit fitted, which is a right pain. Um, just the way the pipes are configured. Uh, the only way I could run the pipes is actually through the base of the, the vanity unit there. Uh, I still need to reconnect all this uh, waste here. I'm just waiting just now. Well, I was waiting until I got the, the first section of flooring under. Um, I was going to take all this out and then floor the bathroom and then put this back in, but I don't, I don't know, we want to have a brand new floor down when I'm in here with the wet wall panels and fitting the bath and stuff, so that's what will leave us off and do the floor last. But I thought it was prudent to get the <coughs> this under, um, you know, before the vanity unit was fixed. So basically just lifted it up, slipped the floor in under. Now I can secure all this and finish the plumbing, get it all finished. So. Vanity unit uh, is white, bath's white to match the toilet. Um, we're going to subway tile here. Um, so there might be probably three courses of tiles and a silver trim just to, to tie it all in. Um, it should, I'll get a view from this side. Yeah, so we've got silver trim going around the, the paneling. It's going to be a grey marble, uh, the paneling. So I think we'll do white subway tiles with grey grout, just to pop the, the tiles, and make it look a bit better. Um, that's the flooring that will be installing, and um, that is the first bit installed, I just put it under the unit as I said. Um, I'll just, it's not ideal, but I'll just work, the way, work back the way. Once the bath and everything's in, the panelling. Uh, yeah, so that's where we are at the moment. I did film uh, Quite a lot of this work um, and some of the other stuff when I was doing the bath but my mic's been playing up so I've actually bought a new mic, it's a, a new smart lav mic, it's, it seems to be good. So apologies for the audio in previous videos but um, hopefully it should be better now. Yes, yeah, so this is the flooring I, I, I use, it's uh, living quick step uh, vinyl flooring with a the thermal underlay. Um, that's a really nice floor. It's, Totally waterproof and guaranteed for 15 years. So no, it's a, a good floor. It is expensive, but it's it's nice and it's down. Um, if you can see the joins there, but there's one join there, you can hardly see it. Uh, so we've got all that tucked in there. Now this will be boxed in again. That's it guys, that's pretty much where we are at the moment. Right guys, I just got the bath out again, um, I've only had it in for a test fit. So now I'm just going to put a couple of supports down where the feet are going to be, um, just a couple of cross pieces, just spare uh, flooring that I had left over. And these, this is a big long run of pipe uh, here, so I'm going to, well I'm in the process of putting clips in, so I've got a clip there and a clip there, um, I'll show you how to do that in a minute, I'll just put another one here. 
yeah, position the pipe where I want it and then get the screw. back, push down, and there's a locking piece that goes over the top, that's it, pipe's totally secured, they're going nowhere, um, another one here just to push down, push down, clip, that's it, it's easy the pipes will be running under the bath, totally solid so happy with that and right guys I'm just going to join up if you remember I think it was a couple of videos ago I cut the waste that run under the bath and I'm just going to join it back up again so I'll just use a coupler uh, like this get this glued on and then I'll enable us to put the other bit of pipe in here and glue that on as well and that'll join the two pipes so let's get a fit and give it a good splodge inside all the way around Coat your pipe all the way around how it's going to go on. So, and just quickly push it on and use a twist in action when you push, just twist. That's it. Wipe off the excess glue with a paper towel or a rag. We'll leave that just to sit for five minutes and um, this stuff only takes about five minutes to cure and it'll be absolutely solid and um, then we can put the next bit of pipe in same process and glue it and glue it all the way back to the the basin waste and that'll be that re, uh, reconnected simple as that again I'm just double checking I'm just measuring uh, to make sure everything fits I was going to fit um, I just can't set the height of the bath at the moment. I haven't got the bath panels with me. So I'm going to wait till I get the bath panels. I'll take them with me tomorrow just so I can set the height of the bath. Um, hopefully get that all set up tomorrow. Um, yeah, just working out where to drill the tap holes. <clears throat> You've got to get it kind of pretty, pretty much bang on to be honest. Um, with the, there's not much room in behind here once you put the wet wall down on top of the bath. So. Make double sure we get in the right place. Uh, I'll get the waste and the overflow fitted tomorrow. Get the bath out. Once I get it leveled, I'll mark score a line along the wall. And then I can measure this the lip of the bath and then fit a batten right along the wall. Uh, and right along here as well. Yeah, so we've got all the waste connected now. Uh, one continuous run now comes right through the cabinet, right out the other side, and right along and connects down there. I just need to get the fall right uh, here and get some sort of, I'll make some sort of block in here, attach it to the floor and get a bracket or a clip to hold the pipe in place. Um, there's a coupler, that's what I was showing you um, when I was using the solvent weld. Basically the pipe just jumps in both sides. Got it over my hand, you can see. Yeah, so tomorrow um, I'll pretty much, I'll probably fit the tap to here, got all this plumbing connected up, get the shelf in, get the doors back on, get this secured, uh, the actual ceramic secured to the wall. Yeah, the cabinet secured to the wall, but the ceramic's still loose. Um, hopefully get the bath waste uh, installed, get the taps installed, get it in position. Um, get the battens installed, get the bath fixed to the wall, uh, hopefully. Um, that'll be the bath pretty much ready. Um, that means I can prepare this wall ready for the, the paneling. Um, I'll have to remember to take these tiles off before I... I'll take the bath out again, I'll get all these off. Uh, but I just wanted to try it again. Yep, so that's the bath, that's the vanity unit in there. 
think that'll look quite nice once it's all tiled. Uh, new bathroom unit up here and everything should be. Quite nice once it's all done. 